on Sunday. We have Sunday school at 9 a.m. via conference call. We have service at 10 a.m. via Facebook Live. And the youth will have it at 11.15 via Zoom. Please govern yourselves accordingly to these announcements. Happy anniversary to Alex and David Barnes. Happy birthday to Roxy Williams, Janaya Lancaster, Wilson Porter, and Geneva Sears.
the gift is acceptable according to what one has and not according to what one does not have. So let us pray. Dear God who art in heaven, we give you all the praise and all the glory this morning, God. And we thank you, Lord, for your grace. And as we look into your word, I pray that your spirit will grant me wisdom and insight that I will speak for you, that I will speak to myself. And as I speak to others, I pray that those who hear this word today will take it as your word, God, 
year we celebrate Global Mission Sunday on the fourth Sunday in September. And this is a time when we give our best to help the enormous needs of people around the world, especially our brothers and sisters in our fellow African nations. Yes. So my message today, the theme is for this Global Mission Sunday is Zion. Are you able to give? Zion, are you willing to give? Yeah. Our Global Missions theme is, is really um, one that we need to really contemplate on. Contemplate on it deeply in your heart yeah, and your soul. Because mm -hmm. this is your mission. We know that mission is defined as to send. And missionary is defined as one sent forth. All right? Those words have become a part of the church, our church life our church work, as it should be, because Christ has no hands and feet then, but ours. That's right. Amen. Amen. God had an only son, and he made him a missionary. Oh, all right. And the greatest missionary ever. And before Jesus returned to the Father, he sent the church to continue the mission that was given to him. Uh -huh. As in John 20 and 21 reads, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. Uh -huh. Therefore, only as the church fulfills her missionary obligation does the church justify existence. Uh -huh. Let me repeat that. Mm -hmm. Only as the church fulfills her missionary obligation, does the church justify existence? Those are some powerful words. Yes. The church is not a social club. Amen. We're here for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is the mission, the mission. But you've got to choose to accept that. But are we really honoring God for the sacrifices he made for us by having idle hands and feet, by storing up riches and things for ourselves? We need to break the cycle of idleness. We need to, we need to lift ourselves out of self-centeredness, this self-centered spirituality, and be spiritually obedient to God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Many people, <laughs> really, um, people feel that they're not able to meet the needs of others. You know, I've got to pay my light bill. I, you know, I, my car payment is coming up. But people do not give because they're not willing to share. Uh -huh. So Christians and missionaries should never confuse their ability to share with their willingness to share. If one has not the ability to share, they are not necessarily bound by the mandate to give, to grant and give others that are in need. Uh -huh. Many feel that they can only do what they're able to do. Others understand that when they have done all that they are able to do. They then seek opportunities to find further assistance in helping others. When we are willing to give and share with others, then the sincere sentiment in desiring to help another is as valuable as any material thing that we might possess. Because the heart of our service to others is much greater than the heap of things we can share. Uh -huh. Being willing to help others 
is as important as being able to help others. Many are able, but many are willing or not willing. So don't make excuses about helping those on the mission fields who are distraught and desolate and desperate and destitute and in dire need of a little help. Yeah. This pandemic has accentuated the plight of the poor globally and actuated givers to show their willingness to help. So we're in a better position than they, then we may be able to help. Uh -huh. Help is not always measured by the quantity of what we share. Help can also be conveyed by the sense of wanting to help others, yeah. even when resources are limited. Amen. So missionaries, missionaries around Zion, ask yourselves, am I able? and willing to give to missions. As you ponder your response, remember that blessings come not only in what you give, but in your willingness to share, even when you cannot give all that you want to. Uh -huh. So if you think about what the word says in 2 Corinthians 8 and 12, the apostle Paul makes it clear that we should not be more concerned about what we do not have to share. Uh -huh. Rather, we should demonstrate our willingness to share what we are able to share, yeah. even if it's just your pennies. Because I remember as a little girl, we walked down the street, we found a nipple or some pennies. We were so happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it brought joy. Yeah. So let us be willing and ready to help mission work all around the world. The church is really missionary by nature. It's important to ask ourselves about our responsibility as believers in a world marked by confusion, hatred, and racism, disappointments, frustration, and a world that's torn by numerous wars and death and laws that are unjustly targeted towards the innocent and the poor. Mother Nature has caused massive mission work that it seems overwhelming, and we wonder what we could possibly do. I say lots. God will look at your heart when you give, even if it's those pennies, that five dollars, that twelve dollars you put in the plate. It is not how much you give, but how much love went into your giving. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 13 and 16. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Remember, no person was ever honored for what they received. They were honored for what they gave, yeah. whether it was their time, whether it was their talent, and whether it was their treasure. Yeah. Yeah. But when God honors you, the windows and the doors will open up for you and pour you out a big blessing that you never expected. So on today, we celebrate Global Mission Sunday. Yes, your mission. Should you choose to accept this mission? Too many people have given up on their commitments and have stopped running the race like they should. Uh -huh. Remember, this race is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not given to the swift or the strong, but to those who endure to the end. No matter how bad you think your life is, you should wake up every day being thankful for what you have. Because there's somebody and somewhere yeah. is just fighting to survive. Uh -huh. So today, whoever is listening to my voice, I pray that you serve.
so into our global missions work that you open your heart and give to help somebody that's less fortunate than you are. Yes. God is waiting with his arms stretched out, inviting you to be his boots on the ground. And he's waiting to bless you for it. So, Father God, we thank you for this time of sharing. Yes, Lord. I pray these words have touched the hearts of your people. Instill in them a commitment to renewing their vows as a Christian. Yes, Someone has given their life to you, Lord. Those are our vows. May their hearts be touched and moved to give. Not only because of the overwhelming disasters around the world, but because it all belongs to you anyway. What we have belongs to you. For it could have been us. It could have been me. It could have been you. And we thank you, Lord. Bless those who are suffering right now. And may these gifts given, given to your church for Global Mission Sunday, for the Winston-Salem District Women's Home and Overseas Missionary Society, on this Global Mission Sunday. May these gifts meet the needs of those 